online attendance management system is developed in ASP.NET C Sharp SQL Server. To configure and run this project, you need to install uh, Visual Studio, latest version of Visual Studio, and latest version of SQL Express or SQL Management Studio. You can use any community edition, community edition of uh, Visual Studio. So for this, I will use uh, Visual Studio 2017 community edition and SQL Express 2014. Okay. So once you purchase this project, you will get this file, TV script, then source code, and then your installation guide, project report, and synopsis. So first, we will do the database configuration. So first, I will start the SQL Server Express. So I already installed SQL Express Management Studio. So I'll just start Management Studio SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. So first, you have to connect your database. So once it's it will take some. You know, you just copy the path of your SQL script file. Now it is started. So my database name is RMS. Server name is RMS. I will connect. So when it's connected, you have to just click on database. Right click new database. So you have to just Give your database name. This is uh, already uh, you can copy this name. Then click on OK. So once the, this is a new blank database, no table is there. So I'll use script to create all the tables. So I just do new query. And I just copy that uh, script folder path, click on file, open file, then paste the path and select that DB script file. Okay. Once it is open, just execute that query. So it will create all tables and insert the sample record. Just refresh it now, you will get all the tables. So once you this table is uh, created and data is there, so you can just check the data. This is employee number and employee password. So once uh, this is part is over, so I'll just uh, configure my source code folder. So I'll copy same way, I'll copy the path of the source code folder. Now I'll start my Visual Studio 2017. I already download Visual Studio Community Edition of 2017, so I'll start that. So once it started, just go file, click on open website, and copy this path, source path, copy it, and paste it. Click on open. Once this project is open in your Visual Studio, you have to just change the config. Web con just double click the web config file. Now you have to change the data source path. So go again as your SQL server. Click and go to properties. And copy this name, RMS copy. And just delete this path. And we have already given the same name, database name, so there is no ch need to change. The attendance is that, so you can just rename, copy, and paste. Now save this file. Now your first page will be login.asps. Just set that as a startup page. Once it is done, just close all the files. and set your Google Chrome is at uh, default and run it. So 
So now you have to log in with your user ID and password, employee or password. So you can just check in employee. He said that 101 and password is 1. So I can just log in. 101 and password login. In home page, it will show how many pending approval is there, how many leave pending is there. We have 19 absent let mark for this month. Okay, so I will just go sign in. And when I leave the office, I will click on sign out. So you can do it only once in a day. So again, if you go, then it will show the sign for the day. Okay. Now before this, I will show you how to create a new user, new employee. Okay. So I'll just go to admin and login. This is for login page for admin user. Admin login SPX. So login user ID is that hard coded admin. You have to type admin and password also admin. Now admin can add a new employee here. So I'll create one employee. So this is the already existing employee showing. I will click on add employee. So I give employee name say Ponyket. And who will be the manager of this employee? Say I will manager is that 101 employee ID. So he will be the approver of this employee. Like whenever he will log in and forget sign out a mail, he apply for leave, then he will approve that uh, request. Now there is a shift, so I will give the shift GL. So how many GL he can apply? So he clicks say 5 maximum. Department, I can say IT. Designation, I can give manager. Email ID, I can give one case. Get up what I can select the month to make the month date. So mobile number I can give my name. Then date of join set who does it. Submit. So new employee will be added in the system. So once new employee added, so these details will be available in user master. So if I refresh it, employee table, so new record will become 105. His employee ID is an employee. He is not login yet, so his login details is not available. So I log in with this user ID 105. Password is 105. And he can apply for leave or attendance. Now this is the for report. So I log out and I go. My default page. Now the new employee created 105. Password I know 123456. The default password. Okay, so his first time is login. Okay, so you can change his password. Like default password is 123456. So the password is 123123 and submit. His password is changed. You can log out and password so one zero five new password is one two three login. Now it is showing his last login time because he already logged in. Now he is not mark any attendance for this month. So first we will give sign in to the sign in date back. Now sign out. Now if I go his master, so you can see like all are it's showing absent, absent, absent. Only 19 he marked the attendance. Okay. Now say you want to apply for uh, forget sign sign out for 18. So you can use this option forget sign sign out. So you have to select the date, the 18, and you can set the times like what time 10 to say go. And say the application is set, but this approval is pending. Okay, so who will approve is manager. Manager is one zero one. So is the you can see the manager name, employee manager. So when one zero one is login, 
you can see that pending approval okay now say he want to check his master again once it is approved it will come here now he can apply leave also like current leave he has only not applied any leave so only the balance leave will show so you can apply for leave application so go leave now who is that you want to even w say 21 to 24 you want to apply go sorry first you have to say start date 21 is a start date now that closing date is 24 go reason going to say go up submit submissions are successfully now it is status is pending now available gl is 6 now he don't have any resource map to his ID, so you will not see any approval is pending. Now attendance, he can see that attendance, like only cat is, what is that? Only one, one day is present, other is absent, absent, absent. Le GLE is not approved, so it is not showing. Now I will log in to his manager ID, that 101. So I log out again and log in with manager. Now his ID is showing two master application pending for approval. Means other is also be applied, he need to approve. The same way he can view, just go to the approval. So you will see two approvals pending. This is the, today he is pending. He's applied for that person. So forget to sign in. So, so okay and approve. Now if we, if we go to the leave approval, now this is he is applied now this this person view approval ID is everything so we can approve going to go now we can okay now if he this person manager want to view the attendance so you can see all the including his and her report also like one zero five is report to one zero one like this same way so this for month. Now, only case he is only applied for one day and four days he is applied for GL, so it is showing. So, he is not applied any leave or he is not marked attendance. Okay. Now, same way we can see other late time. So, we can see actually from one to say two days dead and show report. You can select like only case. So what is the shift time and what time he come and because he has applied 10, 8, 10, 8, both the things. So it will, he can check, like absent report So for this month. Only one day is present, other is all absent. Leave report. And you can see he is applied for four leave. This admin also can see if we go to the admin side, like log out and go to that admin you can view report for all the employees like attendance report so you can view all the employee report together just because he is admin user so you can view report for all users Let's time same You can select the user and you can show what is the time. An employee already added. And if that employee, that 105, the new employee, if he is logged in, you can sh view his master also. The 105. Password is one two three login. Now if we go to master, like this date, it is GL Marcus, and his attendance. If we see the attendance, sorry, it is approved now because that is manager is approved. And what and leave status also you can see that all four leave is already approved. And we'll 
because nobody is reporting to him so there is no approval is pending and he can view his own absent status only he, he cannot view others because he don't have any reporting so this is the project so to configure this project you have to install sql server sql server express and visual studio any version of sql and any version of visual studio will work 